Hello everybody and welcome back to Demic Plays uh, Layers of Fear Part 2. I was trying to figure out some sort of slight screen tearing that we were having and that was worrying me so I went into the next room to try and walk around and yeah I got locked out and now we're here. Now we got that place blocked off. That place really blocked off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty, pretty locked down. Oh, what's this? Rodent seeds. I see the dirt move. Rotten soil. Nothing else grows. What the hell? I am confused. Anything in there? Also, I got an achievement for that. Let me check that out real quick. Collected a rat sketch. What the hell? Oh. Ah, uh, yes. Because the piano needs to be locked down because it is dangerous. I mean, maybe it is. Maybe it's like the piano from Mario. Mario 64. That was a dangerous piano. Yes, it's the piano from Mario 64 returned. Oh, God. You gonna do anything stupid? I guess it's just gonna block that way off, then. Alright, then. <clears throat> anything in hua? No, no. No. Why do people... Are those plates? In a... What is this, a parlor? These people have no sense of decor. Or at least organization. This room is pointless and that makes me think it's a little bit spooky. Oh. Creator's block. Oh god. When I turn around, is there gonna be something over there? Oh, okay, there's an absence of something. There's just... Oh god. Oh. They're fucking with me. They are fucking with me. If this gives way, if this gives way... <clears throat> I'm sorry. Oh! I'm not down with that. I am not down... Oh, I can't deal with this! I can't deal with this! This is too much, too fast! This is a very lovely painting. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Everything I touch breaks. Let's just go with that as an assumption. And looking behind me is always bad. I was gonna go back down that hallway, I was gonna be like, alright, what's up hanging baby doll thing? And it was probably gonna be like... Nothing, because it's a doll and dolls can't speak. And I was going to continue along my way, but no, no, I went the other way. I, I didn't even know I was going the other way. I was just looking at a window. Oh god, that's oil paint. Is that paint monster going to show up? That's a lot of books. Let's check out those books. Wait. Booze. Oh, Alright. Is there going to be another book man? Okay, no, I'm fine with that. I feel like my mouse sensitivity is just a little low. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back while I check that. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I can work with that. Okay. Okay. Now it's a little too high. Alright, I'll be right back again. Those mouse sensitivity controls are very... sensitive. We got another can canvas. I'm curious about that, I I'll admit, but I'm also curious about what's down here. This is some sort of library? I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out the canvas room, because that didn't seem to go anywhere, although that, you know, doesn't mean anything in this game. Alright, what do we have? Ignorance, blind fools, ingrates, cretins. Oh, great, this is all the things that I think of when I look at other people. That's not a very nice painting. You ordered a true portrait, so that's where I painted you, fucking plant. Oh my god. Maybe I need to kick some artistic sense into your stupid face! I doubt that guy looked like that. But, um... I just love that this is a game that unironically used the words fucking pleb. That's fucking hilarious. That's fucking annoying. Um... Oh. <clears throat> I didn't even see that. Alright then. That would make sense that if you showed somebody a library area to explore. I've seen that before. Anyway. 
then you would be able to go explore it. Would it not? Okay, well, nothing in here but books. And as we all know, I can't read. Oh no. Oh. What? No, walking backwards is not having an effect on it. Okay. What the fuck? This is like playing PT. Oh god, this is just like PT. Oh god. How? This is fucking with my brain. Let, let me answer the damn phone. Let me answer it. Oh. Oh. Oh, cool. I didn't know right click did that. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go on my way then if I can't answer the damn phone. This is. Oh, wait, oh, wait, what's this? Dear sir, if I am to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter, and while this is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think sixteen concurring opinion would be concurring opinions would be enough. Still, I have respect for you and your wife. I have examined the case thoroughly, and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as freakish as your wife did. Uh, what do you refer to as a freakish? grin or unnerving yelp, although many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned do not seem to be physiological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing- SHUT UP! SOMEONE GET THE DAMN PHONE! Yeah. That has nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. Excuse me. It is a long, arduous process that will require all of our strength, all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term blah-blah-blah program. Sincerely, Robert Richards, MD. Another fucking quack. He has good handwriting. <clears throat> Alright, this time do I get to answer the phone? Nope. What about this phone haunts me so? Oh yeah, that would also support our whole theory that the wife was horribly burned in a concert fire. Stop it, phone. Maybe I have to go backwards. Yeah. What the fuck? Now do I need to go down? Can I even go down anymore? Huh? Hello? Yes, speak. Yes. What? What fire? Oh my. Oh god. Is she... she... Which hospital? I'm on my way. Oh dear. Now which way do I go? I guess it probably doesn't matter. So yeah, anyway, she got horribly burned. I uh, got horribly traumatized by this whole event. Oh dear, that just ends. Okay, that's not the right way to go. Oh wait, there's probably a note in there, isn't there? This is just a lot going on, and I'm sure you guys are forming your own opinions and ideas and... I don't know. Well... Seems as I know which way to go. It's through here. Restless memories. Oh, how interesting. How interesting. Oh, okay. I didn't see that thing's face because I was looking at the doorknob, and I am eternally grateful. I am eternally grateful for that. Now let me out of here. So I'm haunted by my own wife, huh? Is that how it's going to be? Haunted by my own spooky ceiling crawling ink lady wife? You're not even the painting monster. I was hoping to fight the painting monster. Painting monster. Oh, shit. I'm upside down. Flapping horror. Be quiet. Constantly flapping. Eating other rats. 
Wait, what does this say? Shattered thoughts. Huh. Anyway, I was hoping to fight a monster made entirely out of painting materials and supplies, and it was going to be a grand old time. Wait, let me guess. Is this just me? Like, I've gone completely crazy, and I'm just walking around my own house trying to avoid my wife because I can't bear to look her in the eye after the accident? I mean, I buy that. I buy that explanation. Now that's still locked. Okay, what the fuck do I do now? Do I close this door? I'm gonna close this door. There's a light switch. Oh. Lovely. Uh, that table looks very dusty. Anything in Hua? Anything? Anything? Is that another... No, that's... No, no, that's another iron cross. Man, I must have been some hero. Oh, no, I don't like the looks of this. Actually, it's very aesthetically pleasing, but not so... Okay, okay. Um, I am not down with the whole invisible monsters thing. Those are spooky, and this does not allow me any opportunity to avoid them here. Can I try the store again? Can I? Oh, the lights! Fuck you, I figured it out. Lights are good. Yeah. No paint ghost can handle my lighting skills. Lighting, lighting switches, that is. Like, just flipping a switch, not, not any other sort of lighting. Hope is the mind killer. That's a reference to Dune! Fear is the mind killer, you fool! I actually memorized that for an acting class. Fear is the mind killer, um... Or no, I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total annihilation. I will face my fear. I will permit it to pass over me and through me. Uh, and when it is gone, I will turn the inner eye to see its path. Where it is gone, there will be nothing. Only I will remain. I, it's, it's, I'm not in a super spooked position right now. I'm intrigued and slightly frightened. I'm not, I'm not terrified. I'm... Wait, what's that say? Abandon hope while you can. Hope is the mind. Oh, so are they going that with that whole? You can only be truly despairing while you still have hope, and you should just resign yourself to, you know, suffering or something. Because I mean, that's a that's an idea, not one that I agree with. If I go up to this, there's gonna be something spooky, isn't there? No. Nope? Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm not gonna complain. What's the deal with the rats? They feel very, like, their whole inclusion or theme or whatever, it feels very Edgar Allan Poe to me. That looks very old, and that looks very undrinkable. I don't know, maybe it's just the light, maybe it's just hard to see, I don't fucking know. And I wish I could turn it off. Whatever. <coughs> Let's shut that behind me, hope I never see the painting monster again. Okay, bathrooms are always... Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Man. I'll just feed this then, I guess. I mean, did the baby drown? Silent floaters, they clog the drain, fur in the water, no baths for me. So in addition to going fucking insane, he also smelled bad. God damn. This artist was crazy. There's nowhere to go in there, so I can't go that way. Okay. That was a weird jump. I guess I was trying to save. I'm gonna flush the toilet. Do I have to unclog the toilet? Is that the puzzle? Please don't tell me that's a puzzle. Because that, would, that would just be too funny for me to take seriously. Come on. Alright, what if I close that? No, no, uh... Okay, what am I- oh. Wow, I mean, it's... It's like someone actually took a look at one of these barricades and thought, Yeah, that's- that's nothing, I could get over that, you know. I don't know! I don't know, most games wouldn't let me do that, I wasn't expecting that. that flipping light switch has, has proven to be beneficial in the past. And here it has proven to do nothing. Oh, a lock.
If that door closes on me while I'm in here. Okay. And I'm just gonna go ahead and... Oh, I can't lock it again. God damn it. Wait. Something's off. There's gotta be something in here. There's gotta be... There's gotta be something. There's gotta be... There's gotta be something. No? Okay, then. It seems so weird that they just add that randomly. Aha! It's a recurring theme, I see. But this one doesn't have a lock up there. Uh, I don't know. How big is this house? What's this? Body bur borrowers feeding on me, driving me insane. Too fast to cut out. Man, this artist had issues. Man, he had issues. You should call him Reader's Digest, because he had a lot of issues. You get it? Because Reader's Digest is a magazine, magazines. Oh, no. Okay, are these also going to be brick walls? I'm going to be okay with that. Yeah, okay, well... Okay, oh, oh, not okay, not okay, oh. Okay, what do we have here? Oops. This is the basement, isn't it? Now why is it getting all faded and fuzzy? You can't do that, that's not okay. This is the basement. It's not all faded and fuzzy anymore. I can commentate on things. Yes. Yes, my commentary is the best. I'm sorry, it's... I'm juggling a lot of thoughts in my head right now about the game and how everything just keeps on burning and changing around me, and it's, it's leading to my commentary being slightly fragmented and partially in my head and partially, you know, out here. Mostly out here. Why is all the, only the fabric burning? Why is there an intense droning? Yep, that's, that's... What the fuck? This game gives me conniptions. Hey, this looks... significant in some way. I'm confused. Oh. Oh. Can I play any other notes? No, okay. Hey, that's the... Oh, that is very lovely piano music. Well, I guess I go back the way I came? I mean, I don't know. Oops. Everything in this game seems so arbitrary and strange. That'd help a lot, wouldn't it? Okay. Oh no. What the hell am I supposed to do? Everything just keep, kinda keeps on floating. I got a little bit of a fish eye lens effect. It's actually kind of fucking with my vision. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, huh. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Um... So at this point I'm starting to think that, uh, this isn't- he's not doing that to himself anymore. I mean, I thought he was probably doing it to himself with the... syringe, maybe with the flaying of the skin, but with the bone... I'm thinking this guy's a serial killer. I mean, it'd be really hard to do that to yourself, especially with a 
get a bone that big without, you know, compromising yourself for all eternity. Well, for the rest of your life. Alright, let's put the bone on here. Let's see what's gonna happen. That's gonna change completely from the last one if I learned anything. What? I have no idea what I'm looking at. Is that some sort of dragon thing? I don't know. What if you fail? Well, I don't intend to. Oh, here's the rat sketches I got. Cool. I guess. Not really. Nothing in there. Inspired OCD. Let me check out that achievement. What's that do? Search a hundred drawers and cabinets. Okay. Well, um, I think this is a fair point to end this episode. Oops. Got my, my, ah, my mouse. Stop. Stop mousing around, mouse. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> so I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, or subscribe, or whatever. If you didn't enjoy it, let me know what I can do to do better. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.